There are concerns tonight that attacks on police are becoming more violent and more common than ever before. Almost 2,000 officers were targeted last year. Many of them had to be hospitalised. Jacqueline Felgate reports. They're the frontline troops left bloodied and bruised for simply doing their job. People uh, seem to think that it is their right to use a police officer as a punching bag. Seven News can reveal 1,930 police were assaulted last year. That's one in five officers. And of the average person working in an office, to imagine one in five of their workmates being assaulted at work every year is, is fairly staggering. Of those attacks, 300 were so serious they required hospitalisation. Injuries included broken bones, concussions and lacerations from being glassed. It's not uncommon for, for people to go out on the weekend just to find a fight. A veteran of the force, Sergeant Jeff Nash, was savagely beaten by a group of thugs and believes Victoria's culture is now more violent than ever. I think it's got a lot to do with alcohol, drugs and their attitude. It's a view shared by the Police Association. It says cutbacks mean officers are now being sent out alone more often, putting them at greater risk. We're seeing enough evidence to say that assaults on police officers are becoming worse and, and becoming more prevalent. The government has announced stiffer penalties for those who assault police. Offenders face up to 12 months jail on top of their original sentence. But almost 12 months on, that legislation is yet to be introduced into the parliament. And for those out on the beat, it can't come soon enough. Jacqueline Felgate, 7 News.